Hi boys and girls, welcome to this week's writing lessons. These are all to do with Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now lots of you know that I am not the biggest fan of Goldilocks, Shh, don't tell anyone. It's not my favourite story at all, which is why I actually like it when in year one we rewrite Goldilocks. We give new characters, uh, they find new things, they follow the same storyline, um, but we get to play around with it a bit. So I hope you enjoy this um, because if I'm honest, it's not my favourite and I really enjoy seeing what other people come up with. So this week's all about reinventing the story. Now, what we have to do on the first day is we have to make sure we know Goldilocks already because to rewrite a story, you have to know the story, the original story. And so if you want, you can watch the original story here if you click on the picture. Um, and I have linked it in Seesaw. You can see me telling the original story. So if you're a little bit shaky and you want a bit of a remind or you just want to watch um, or listen to it again, then watch Goldilocks again. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be sequencing. As I said last week, sequencing is one of the most important things to do in year one. It helps make sure that we know what the story is originally. And so what I've done is I've got a picture for each part of the story on the following slides on the PowerPoint. And I need you to write a sentence for each drawing. However, there's a problem. I've mixed up all the slides and I need you to put them back in the correct order. So that is today's lesson. So I know that's the original story of Goldilocks and you might be like, oh, that's not the most interesting thing. However, we need to do that before tomorrow we get to reinvent the story and have a little bit of fun. Um, here on this page, I have put, let me just move myself so you can see myself over there. Um, I have put things that I need to include in my rewriting of the story, my sequencing, and what extra things could I include if I really wanted to push myself. So I've got capital letters and full stops, adjectives, joined up handwriting, letters on the line, a sentence with the word and in, and the correct order. They're the things I really want you to push for, and make sure you've got. If you think that's easy, Mrs. Wilkinson, then I'd like you to push yourself. Can you write a two-way phrase in there somewhere? Could you use the word and, but, or, or because? And can you start your sentences with different sentence starters? So, for example, I might say, in the woods, the bears came back to their cottage, rather than just saying, the bears walk back to their cottage. Do you see how that makes it a little bit more interesting? So, on the attached task on, on Seesaw, see if you can put them in the right order. It does help if you can print them off, but if you can't, it's fine. And write a sentence for each one. See if you can give it a go. And I hope you enjoy this activity.